Hi Harvest House, I'm Stuart. This is my Airstream. Follow me in. How's it going? I'm Stuart with Living Small Dreaming Big. So we have been full timing in our RV for a little over a year. This particular rig we've actually only been in for about a month. Um, its total length with truck is about 50 feet, uh, a little shy. And then I tow it with a 2019 Ram 2500 diesel. And this is a 2001 Airstream Safari. Uh, it's 27 feet total in length. So to start, we have completely built this thing 100% to kind of our needs. Um, it started as a 27 foot Airstream. It's still a 27 foot Airstream, but custom layout. Starting in this area, we have, you know, pull up shoe storage. You know, we have bins for, you know, the wife and I, and then underneath, is you know for like our daily use shoes and then we have our bed slash couch slash sitting area slash movie theater um this pulls up you know and we have a lot of storage under here and also our second fridge and freezer um all of our solar and lithium batteries and all that fun stuff is actually up in front which i can gain access from the top if i pull the mattress back a little bit you know, the controls for, for all of that or you know, just on the touch screen on the wall so we can kind of see what's going on with our battery usage and our solar and all that's good stuff. Coming more into it, there's, you know, lots of, you know, pretty plants and things that are fun to put away every time we move, <laughs> but the wife likes them. So that's why they're here. We have a pull out pantry, you know, just for some extra storage kind of like a little bookcase and whatnot, just for the space I was kind of prior or back there. We can pull these chairs. And then this pulls up and we utilize this for, you know, our homeschooling stuff, breakfast if it's rainy outside, and just a generalized kind of place to throw things when we come in from the grocery store. We do have fireplace. This is actually the main source of heat in here. Um, it's an 1800 watt heater, which is more than enough to heat this. So to the countertops, we did epoxy countertops, which is an awesome option, especially for you know any type of trailer. They're light. It's made out of three quarter inch birch plywood. You can use MDF if you'd like. And then it's just the epoxy pour over top. We are running an induction cooktop for that and uh, you know, pretty large size, you know, toaster oven more or less for our oven. As far as like electronic storage for easy access stuff, I did, it, it, it's a mess, but everything does have its place. There's a surge protector at the back of the drawer, um, you know, for, you know, computers and tablets and, you know, camera gear and all that good stuff. Even the blinds, you know, we custom made these, they have a thermal backing. So it's kind of like a built-in reflexic, reflectix almost on the back. And then they just Velcro down, which, which are really, really nice. Moving on back, we did a barn slider, you know, just for the, the bathroom door. It's kind of out of the way, you know, low profile because we wanted to keep this hallway as wide as possible. Because anybody who's been in an Airstream knows, like, closes in on you pretty quick not having any slides. The fridge was a complicated thing because the wall, you know, curves back. So it was, you know, you couldn't really do anything tall. This is also partially over the wheel well. So that's why we couldn't do it all the way down to the ground. Um, but, you know, it's a complete mess. Let's go ahead and shut that again. Um, but it's great. But this is a fridge only, and that's why we have the one under the bed, because that actually doubles as more fridge space and our freezer, because this is both of these drawers are fridge only. This part is my favorite part. Um, anybody who knows us knows that we love our good coffee, and I wasn't really willing to part that, so <laughs> not most people would utilize this much space for a coffee bar, especially in a 27-foot camper. But we love our coffee, all of our friends love our coffee. So it was something that we really, really wanted to make sure that we could incorporate into the place. The bunks, these are full size twins. So, you know, my son who's four sleeps up top, my daughter's down below, which is nice because they go all the way back to the wall. So, you know, they usually put their heads over here so you don't have to worry about them rolling out, falling out. And then this cab or uh, this, we also did put uh, a sound backing on the mat. So it does keep it a little bit more soundproof. They both have sound machines in there and they can't hear anything. This is kind of a messy spot that's not 100% finished yet, but 
Um, you know, it's just a big, you know, closet area. You know, our electric panels back here. Uh, we do have a camera set up on the wall. That's just so if we are outside of the fire or whatnot, we can, you know, we know if our kids move. Going into the bathroom, as you can tell, like the countertops and then the shower walls, we did the same thing. Those are all epoxy. The shower walls are actually uh, one inch thick styrofoam um, that we poured the epoxy over top of. Uh, so again, it's get that sewn look, but they literally weigh like five pounds a piece. So, it, you know, keeps the weight way down. Then it was, it was a lot of fun building all this out, trying to get into it, you know, a tiny little space, but it, it works relatively well. I feel like elf, but you know, I, I gotta do what I gotta do. Um, and we are running a composting toilet, which is great just for the fact that we don't want to have to, you know, constantly always worry about where we're going to dump our black tank. So that's been a pretty good, pretty good thing. The other big thing that we did with our cabinets is we tried to do as much pull outs as possible just to, again, stay organized. So we have this huge pull out, give perfect access to our blender and our Instant Pot. Um, and then this top one also pulls out for all of our pots and pans. And then again, tiny space and organizing is just super important. So this is all of our snacks. Everything fits in the bins. You know, nothing moves around during you know travel, which is probably the absolute best part about using these type of containers. Um, and again, just more, more storage. So this is kind of like our secondary pantry for the bigger stuff, but works super, super well. So again, this is a 2001 Airstream Safari 27 FB was what it started its life as. Now it's a living, small, dreaming, big Airstream. Uh, so to kind of start, we did do a Harbor Freight flagpole to mount, you know, I just love having the flag. And then we have Starlink up on the top of that, which has really helped, honestly, increase the speeds of it. Um, kind of moving down to like the hitch, which is another thing that we absolutely love is the Pro Pride. So it really does help with, you know, sway and everything else. I don't even feel this thing behind me in, in reality for one, because I have zero sway. And then two, it's probably 7,500 pounds solo. So it's a pretty light trailer. Moving over to the side, we run a blue technology three filter uh, water system. It takes it down to like 0.2 microns, which is great. It takes, you know, viruses, all the good stuff out of it. And then since it goes through the entire system, you have great water for, you know, showers and everything else. So my wife really, really likes having certain water for her hair, which I guess makes a difference. Moving on to the side, uh, some of the big differences versus, you know, a lot of the other ones. Um, I did modify the doorway to run the Lippert solid step, which, you know, commonly don't really fit on these trailers, but we've had them on other trailers and we just really, really like not feeling the bounce when people walk in and out of the unit. Um, another, you know, fun custom piece that we did when we were building out this trailer was um, covering a hole that used to be the old furnace. And, you know, just kind of, instead of just doing a patch panel, we made it look like a mountain range, which, you know, we just think was fun. We did upgrade the axles on this one as well. It's got 5,200 pound torsion axles, which, which is great. And we're running Goodyear tires. Um, and we also run, you know, tire minder TPMS system, just for the fact that it's super important to, to keep an eye on those tires. Working our way back. Try not to knock myself out. Um, it's at this point pretty much just a you know factory airstream. We have you know kind of cleaned it up the best we could. Still has you know battle scars here and there. Um, there is storage here. And then the other big thing was you know mind the mess, but we have a ton of storage underneath those back bunks, which actually equates to way more room than I would have ever figured that I was going to be able to get back in here. Which, which has been very nice. Over on this side, the other big addition that we did, because majority of Airstreams in this area were 30. Um, since I built out the entire electrical system on this, we did upgrade the system to a 50 amp. And we are running a tankless water heater because five minutes is just not enough for my wife when it comes to a shower. So perfect example, she utilizes that quite a bit. <laughs> uh, our water connection is actually also pretty neat. This actually has a built-in regulator, so you don't have to worry about putting one on the hose or anything else. And this regulates it down to 50 PSI, which 
has been great so far. Um, but that kind of concludes uh, the outside. It's uh, pretty, pretty basic. We do have two ACs up on the top, which literally can freeze us out. So this is my mobile shop, my garage, my daily driver, our tow rig. So this thing pulls a lot of different titles within uh, for, for something with wheels. Uh, to kind of start back here, this is, you know, the, the meat and potatoes, I would say, of, of this truck. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, it's downhill. This is a, a cargo slide, so it does pull out. But with it being downhill, I don't even honestly know if I'd be able to pull it out, but you, you can get the idea. That's great because I can access the stuff all the way in the back without having to, you know, climb up and grab it. The other nice thing that I have is I have this decked drawer organizer, which is amazing. Again, just to pull out to have all my stuff where I need it and organized, some somewhat organized. Again, it's one small space, so it gets cluttered pretty, pretty quickly. Um, so as being a mobile tech, it's, you know, kind of a, you gotta be an electrician, a plumber, you know, just about every, every type of person at the same time. Okay. Kind of moving over to the side. I have all of my pack out containers kind of organized where, you know, if I need them, I can pull them and grab them out here, or I can have that whole tray slide out the back. Um, I have everything from wrenches to screwdrivers to socket sets, um, wire for doing solar installs. I have multiple hydraulic crimpers for doing solar, um, golf bag for stress relief. <laughs> um, and go around to the other side. And it kind of continues with, you know, the pack out stuff. These things just really, really work well for what I do. I have, you know, electrical connectors. The box behind this is more solar stuff. Um, oil extractors for doing inspections. Um, up on this one, you know, I have, this is a trailer light tester. So you can kind of go through and check, make sure like turn signals, brakes, brake lights, all that stuff works without having to plug into a truck. Um, battery charger, battery tester, uh, just more generalized tools. And then up on the top is all the fun stuff. So we have our sand up paddle boards, all of our actual like tent camping stuff is in big clam. Uh, the Pelican case behind it is again, more just, you know, camper related stuff, you know, lanterns, water filters, all that, that good stuff. And then another part right here, is all of our fishing stuff. So we have stuff for salt water, fresh water, um, just about every type of fishing, you know, in that box and that just that lives up there. So the other big thing that I did was, this is a Lear contractor cap, but me being me, I'm not a big fan of looking like a grandpa, you know, cause I've just never really been a fan of caps. So I actually had the whole thing bullet lined, which is like the same as like Rhino liner or Line X. Um, but it kind of gave it that more rugged appeal and you know, I just like the look of it. Nice thing that it does is, especially since we do take this truck off road for you know some some overlanding, and especially once we get out west, is it adds a lot of protection to it. So you don't have to worry about scratches or you know any of that. Tree branches can get you know drugged down the side, and then just putting tools in and out, I'm constantly beating this thing up. So it works really really well for that. All right, this is my wife Lindsay. This is my daughter Audrey. This is my son Maverick. All right, thanks for watching the tour, guys. Uh, it's uh, time to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Have a great one, guys.